Hi everyone, welcome to Tiny Tot Story Time. Um, just a couple announcements for this week. This is the week of Thanksgiving. On Wednesday, we are closing at 1 p.m. We'll be open from 10 to 1. And then Thursday and Friday, we will be closed and we will be back open on Saturday. Okay, so let's get started. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Pardon me. Okay, so my first book is The Giant Pop-Out Pets. And I was wondering if anyone has a pet at home. I don't have a pet at home, but maybe you will have one of these and will recognize them. Let's see, we have a dog, a rabbit, a cat, a fish, and a hamster. Let's see if there are other ones inside. I walk quietly on my four soft paws and sometimes I chase after mice. What am I? My tail can curl like this. Who chases after mice? <gasps> Whoa, it's a cat. All right, next up. I love to chew on biscuits and bones. You can walk me on a leash too. Here's my bowl of food. What am I? Uh, oh, it's a dog. I have a puffy little tail and I love to munch on carrots. I sleep inside a hutch like this. What am I? Oh, a rabbit. Fun fact, don't feed rabbits carrots. Too much sugar. Anyway. I'm shiny and smooth and covered in scales. My gills help me breathe underwater. I live in a tank or a bowl like this. We also have some of these in the library. What do you think this is? <gasps> a fish! I can run for hours on my exercise wheel. Then I stuff my cheeks with food. My cage has a fluffy lining so I can dig and play. What am I? Uh, there's only one animal I know of that has a wheel like that. And it's a hamster. I have feathers that help me fly. My home has a perch where I sit. I like to eat seeds and nuts. What am I? Do you know what kind of animal has feathers? <gasps> Ooh, it's a bird. And those are the giant pop-up pets. Do you have any of those at home? If you do, I bet they're wonderful. Okay, so my first, uh, song or finger play today is this is big 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 and for regulars of story time this is one you probably know but for people who are new it's okay we're going to do it two times so you can learn it and then follow along with me the next time okay so get your hands ready we'll get started this is big 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 this is small 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 this is short 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 this is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is stop, stop, stop. This is go, go, go. Okay, one more time. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is stop, stop, stop. This is go, go, go. Okay, so my next book is another 
classic song with a Pete the Cat twist. This is Pete the Cat and the Itsy Bitsy Spider by James Dean. And this one goes a little bit differently than you think it's going to. So I'm not gonna be singing this one because it doesn't quite have the same rhythm, but I promise after this, we will do the Itsy Bitsy Spider the way you know. Okay. One day while playing outside with his friends, Pete the Cat spotted something cool. Look, shouted Pete. What do you think he sees? Wow, it's so small, said Gus. It's an itsy bitsy spider, said Callie. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Pete and his friends knew just what to do. Everyone cheered on the tiny spider. Pete the cat said, try again, itsy bitsy spider. So the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Pete said, don't give up yet. They all cheered louder this time. You think the spider's gonna try again? I think so. So again, the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and Pete and his friends shouted, go itsy bitsy spider. Sign says, go itsy bitsy spider. Don't give up, believe you can. And the itsy bitsy spider kept climbing up the water spout. Everyone celebrated and the spider took a bow. With the help of some friends, the itsy bitsy spider never gave up, even when the odds were against her. Okay, so that is a twist on the story. So in the first, in the song that we know, the Itsy Bitsy Spider gets washed out. But in this one, this book was about trying again and again, even if you don't get it right, because that's how we learn new things. So let's do the Itsy Bitsy Spider. So if you have the Itsy Bitsy Spider ants, we can get them out. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Okay. So, at the end of that song, it does say the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the spout again, but it doesn't really say if the Itsy Bitsy Spider did it. So, Pete the Cat was there to help the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Okay. There are a couple of holidays coming up. And one, if you don't celebrate, you might not know is coming quite so soon, is Hanukkah. Hanukkah begins on Sunday. And so to celebrate Hanukkah coming up, I picked out, I know an old lady who swallowed a dreidel. And a dreidel is this little top. So this one is for all of you who celebrate Hanukkah and all of you who don't know much about Hanukkah so you can learn more. So, let's get this tongue twister started. This book is by Karen Yakowitz. A lot of people on this page. It looks like there's hugs, there's bagels, and then the cat drops a dreidel on top of the bagel. It's 
find out what happens. I know an old lady who swallowed a dreidel, a Hanukkah dreidel she thought was a bagel. Oh no. Perhaps it's fatal. I know an old lady who swallowed some oil, a pitcher of oil about ready to boil. She swallowed the oil to wash down the dreidel, a Hanukkah dreidel she thought was a bagel. Perhaps it's fatal. I know an old lady who swallowed some latkes, five platters of latkes, hot from the pot cuz. She swallowed the latkes to fry in the oil that bubbled and tumbled about ready to boil. She swallowed the oil to wash down the dreidel, a Hanukkah dreidel she thought was a bagel. Perhaps it's fatal. I know an old lady who swallowed some sauce, some smooth applesauce she downed in a toss. She swallowed the sauce to sweeten the latkes. She swallowed the latkes to fry in the oil that bubbled and tumbled about ready to boil. She swallowed the oil to wash down the dreidel, a Hanukkah dreidel she thought was a bagel. Perhaps it's fatal. I know an old lady who swallowed a brisket, a 20-ton brisket she thought she could risk it. She swallowed the brisket to soak in the sauce. She swallowed the sauce to sweeten the latkes. She swallowed the latkes to fry in the oil that bubbled and tumbled and about ready to boil. She swallowed the oil to wash down the dreidel, a Hanukkah dreidel she thought was a bagel. Perhaps it's fatal. I know an old lady who swallowed some gelt, a mindful of gelt, before it could melt. She swallowed the gout to follow the brisket. She swallowed the brisket to soak in the sauce. She swallowed the sauce to sweeten the latkes. She swallowed the latkes to fry in the oil that bubbled and tumbled about ready to boil. She swallowed the oil to wash down the dreidel, a Hanukkah dreidel she thought was a bagel. Perhaps it's fatal. I know an old lady who swallowed a menorah, a mountainous menorah while we danced the horror. She swallowed the menorah that stood near the gelt. She swallowed the gelt to follow the brisket. She swallowed the brisket to soak in the sauce. She swallowed the sauce to sweeten the latkes. She swallowed the latkes to fry in the oil that bubbled and tumbled about ready to boil. She swallowed the oil to wash down the dreidel, a Hanukkah dreidel she thought was a bagel. Perhaps it's fatal. I know an old lady who swallowed some candles, ate skyscraping candles she, were all she could handle. She swallowed the candles that lit the menorah, that stood near the gelt, that followed the brisket, that soaked in the sauce, that sweetened the latkes, that fried in the oil, that washed down the dreidel, a Hanukkah dreidel she thought was a bagel. <clears throat> Perhaps. It wasn't fatal. And that's the end of the story. Now, some of the adults might have noticed that a lot of the pictures in this book are famous paintings. So if you check this book out, you can read more about the paintings in the back. But anyway, I thought that was fun. Those books are always very hard. Lots and lots of words that rhyme very quickly that makes it hard. Okay, so I'm going to do a twist on apples and bananas now. So this one incorporates a lot of uh, signs. Now, this isn't quite sign language because we're replacing words with different signs rather than using grammar like uh, sign language will do. But um, some of these signs can be especially helpful for kids who can't yet speak. If you can teach them some of these signs before they can speak, they can maybe tell you what they need. But you can read more about that online or get a book from the library. Anyway, so this is apples and bananas, but you're going to see there are a few different verses. So, I like to eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. I like to drink, drink, drink. Milk and water. I like to drink, drink, drink. Milk and water. I want more, more, more. 
please and thank you. I want more, more, more. Please and thank you. Okay, let's do that one more time so you can maybe get more of the signs down. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to drink, drink, drink milk and water. I like to drink, drink, drink milk and water. I want more, more, more. Please and thank you. I want more, more, more. Please and thank you. Okay, so even if you don't end up using the signs, it is kind of fun to play around with. And it's always a good thing to know thank you, especially when someone who knows sign language does something nice for you. It's always helpful to know how to say thank you. Okay, so the other big holiday that's coming up is Thanksgiving, of course. So I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving this year. And so we're doing a Thanksgiving book. Now, a lot of the good Thanksgiving books were checked out. Miss Libby didn't get there in time, which is great. You guys have a lot of good Thanksgiving books at home. But something I didn't know that you may not know is the song Over the River and Through the Woods was originally a Thanksgiving poem. So I'm going to be doing this book. So this is for Thanksgiving, but you'll notice there's lots of snow. So this must have been um, written by someone who lives farther north than we do, where they get snow around this time of year. So Over the River and Through the Woods, a Thanksgiving poem by Lydia Maria Child. Over the river and through the woods to grandfather's house we go. The horse knows the way to carry the sleigh through the white and drifted snow. Over the river and through the woods, oh, how the wind does blow. It stings the toes and bites the nose as over the ground we go. Over the river and through the wood to have a first rate play. Hear the bells ring, tingling ding, hooray for Thanksgiving Day. Over the river and through the wood, trot fast my dapple gray. Spring over the ground like a hunting hound, for this is Thanksgiving Day. Over the river and through the woods and straight through the barnyard gate. We seem to go extremely slow, it is so hard to wait. Over the river and through the woods, now grandfather's cap I spy. Hooray for the fun, is the pudding done? Hooray for pumpkin pie. And that's the end. And I think I may have gotten the tune of that mixed up with I Know an Old Lady. But sometimes that happens, but I think it fits. Okay, so I want you all to have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you get to see family that you might not have been able to see last year. I know last year I did my Thanksgiving outside and it was very cold. So I'm looking forward to having it inside this year. So I'd like everyone to think about things that they're thankful for. And one of the things I am thankful for is you because you coming to my story times, watching my videos really makes it worthwhile to do these for you. Okay. So, I'm going to zoom, 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 and I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday. So, zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll be there very soon in five, four, three, two, one, liftoff! All right.
Goodbye. I will see you again next week.